Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's July 1st. Oh my gosh, July 1st. And it's time for Facebook Friday. I hope you guys have had a great week. Let me see if I can find myself. And, uh, ooh, it just said interrupted. Hopefully that's not gonna be a problem. All right, I'm, what I'm doing is trying to find me on Facebook so I can see your comments. <laughs> and I'm gonna share it over here. Okay, hello. Hello everybody, it's good to see you. Um, it has been a busy week here. We were gone to the coast. Um, the coast is about a three hour drive from us. We try to go once a summer and, um, and it was great. We thought it was gonna storm. Um, they kept saying there was chances of rain, chances of rain, and it never did. It kind of danced around us. So we had three beautiful beach days. Um, and the beach was clear. If you've ever been to the Texas beach, there's lots of seaweed that washes up. The water isn't, it's not like Florida beaches. It's, you know, it's kind of muddy, you know, it's fine, but it's not the prettiest. But the last day we were there, there was nothing on the beach. It was completely clean. The water was clear. It wasn't crowded. So we considered that a success. <laughs> and then my husband caught some sharks on the beach and not that far from where everybody was swimming. Um, he kind of waded out and, you know, tossed his fishing pole out and brought in two different little baby sharks. And it was funny because uh, everybody like got out of the water. <laughs> um, I wasn't in the water. I just stood up and let it wash over my feet, but uh, it cleared everybody out of the water real fast. Um, but anyways, it was a good time. We got back yesterday and I-, I found this on the web. No, I don't need to know about sharks. Siri. She always thinks I'm talking to her. Um, got back real quick yesterday and got back to work. So here we are. Um, I have lots of things to show you. This has started. Celebration. Celebration is one of the, well, now we have it twice a year. Two of the best times of the whole year. Um, you get free stuff with every order over $50. We have level one products, that is a free with a $50 purchase. And we have level two products, that's free with a $100 purchase. Um, there's more level ones than level twos. I think maybe there's only two level two, free with $100, but it's cumulative. So if you spent, if your order is $150, then you get three level ones or a level two and a level one. You know, you see how this goes. If your order is $500, you get 10 level ones and so on. Um, so anyway, awesome catalog. I will link it um, in the video description when I'm done today. It's also linked over my blog. Maybe, maybe I didn't link it. Um, I'll have to check. The other thing is the holiday catalog. It's July 1st. We haven't even had 4th of July and we're already talking about the holiday mini catalog. Um, this is the new, about three years ago, Stampin' Up! kind of switched the scheduling of the catalogs and last year's holiday catalog was supposed to start in July, but it didn't because remember we were still in the weird pandemic and supply issues, so they had it start in August. Well, now it's starting July 1st and it feels very weird to be <laughs> doing holiday catalog in July, but it's a really good one. Um, I know a lot of you like to start working on holiday stuff quickly, um, you know, as soon as it comes out. So this is for you. There's also things in here that are not necessarily holiday things. Um, I'm gonna show you the paper here in a second. Um, there's a few stamp sets in here that are just, you know, all occasion. There's beautiful ribbon, embellishments, but this catalog goes from today until January, what, it's 4th, January 4th. All right, so you have a lot of time to shop this catalog. This one is just July and August. So free stuff just in July and August, okay? Um, okay, now let's talk about, let's see, what do I wanna tell you? I'm gonna jump around a little bit. Before I switch the camera over, um, let me tell you about the All Star Tutorial Bundle. We have a brand new one today. New subscription period. So if you have subscribed to the new all-star tutorial subscription. I mailed them, I emailed them this morning. If you were part of the last six months and you haven't resubscribed, I didn't send it to you. You have to, this is the one where you have to sign up every six months if you want the subscription. Um, the subscription is only open during the first month, which is July. So um, that's this month. 
right? I opened it last week, but it's open all during July. This is a PDF of 12 different tutorials. It has links to videos. Um, there's 12 designers. I'm one of 12, and we all design a project using the same suite of products. This month, it's a wash in beauty. Um, you get this for free when you spend $50 with me online. Uh, so if you shop the stampinup.com website, choose me as your demonstrator, and your order is over $50, you get it for free, okay? If that's you, then you don't need to even worry about the subscription because you're gonna get it for free. But if you are somebody who buys my PDFs um, or you're a demonstrator yourself and you don't wanna order from me, which I get, or you have a demonstrator who you order from, I get that too, but if you, it, but you do want the PDF, then you can subscribe. And when you subscribe, you pay for five months and get that six month for free. They're $15 a month. And when you subscribe, you can pay monthly or you can pay all at the upfront. Um, so that option is available only in July. It'll turn off after the end of the month. If you're interested in this, um, hop back. Actually, at the bottom of today's blog post, there is a link to this. Has anybody checked if the blog post went up? Hopefully it did. Um, but you can click the link. It'll take you back to the information about this post. It's in my PDF store now. If you just want to buy one PDF, you can. Um, but it, when you remember, if you buy these every month, it would be better to subscribe because you'll get the six month for free. Um, here's my project this month, by the way. It's very cute. Um, I can't show you all the projects because it's a secret, but there are uh, some sneak peeks over there. We're going to do a blog hop next week um, where you'll have even more project ideas. Okay, so there is that. Oh, also you get it for free if you are on my team, which I'm going to talk to you about here in a second because there is an amazing starter kit deal. My team, thanks Karen, my team always gets my PDFs for free. Um, when, they, when you buy the starter kit from me, that's one of the perks. From then on out, every PDF that I put out, you get it for free. Okay, let's um, flip around, and I have a couple of things to show you. Um, I didn't mention today we're doing hippest hippos. I have a hard time. I want to call it hippiest hippos, but it's hippest hippos. This is in the celebration catalog, free with a $50 purchase. And then the dyes are free with a $50 purchase. It's not a bundle. It's 50 and 50 free and free, um, but they do go together. And I'm gonna show you why today you need both. The dyes are, are really, really cool. Okay, let me switch you around and I wanna show you the starter kit, little added bonus that we have this month. Whoops, let's turn you guys around. Okay, are you gonna turn around? There we go. Yes, tree lot dies are going to be next week's Facebook Friday, you guys. I already have them designed and ready to go. Tree lot dies coming next week. That'll be um, our Facebook Friday next week, okay? Um, okay, so let's see. Where did my celebration catalog go? All right, so here's a celebration catalog. Um, if you haven't seen it, if you need a catalog, I'd be happy to mail you one. Um, I have a form at the top of my blog under the shop button. Um, where it says request a free catalog. So you can do that there. If you need a catalog, uh, either this one or the holiday catalog, I'll be happy to send it to you. So uh, right off the bat, page four and five, that's what we're doing today, the hippest hippos. And then the other free products, we're actually gonna use this one as well on one project. But um, here are the tree lot dies that everybody keeps asking about. Uh, I love these. This little uh, camper die is just the cutest. Um, and these are free with a $100 purchase, okay? And they coordinate with the, um, oh, what's it called? Trees for Sale stamp set that's in here. So let me show you that um, just so that you guys know what's coming next week. We're going to do Christmas in July. So there's the stamp set. Stamp set isn't free. You have to buy the stamp set. Um, and when your order is $100, you get the dice, the whole die set for free. It's a really big die set. Um, and I love them. They're adorable. So um, be ready for that next week, Christmas in July, when it's 1,000 degrees outside. Okay, the other thing I was going to show you in here, the starter kit um, promotion right here on page 18. It says join. You can read the details here. Um, the cost is the same as it always is, $99. You pick out $125 in product, either from this catalog, from this catalog, 
or the clearance rack. Um, I always get asked, do I get celebration items in my starter kit? No, you don't get celebration products in your starter kit because you're already getting $25 in free product because it's only $99 and you're picking out $125. Plus you're getting all of this for free and you're getting free shipping. After you buy your starter kit, then you can put in your own orders. You get a 20% discount on your orders and then you earn these. So as a demonstrator, after you buy the starter kit, you also earn celebration products on your orders, on your own orders, okay? Just not, they're not included in the starter kit. But what is included in the starter kit? Again, $125 of product, whatever you want. Then Stampin' Up's also gonna send you this adorable making plans kit. It is a huge planner. Um, it is adorable. This isn't even all of it. Um, it doesn't all even fit in here, so you switch it out as you get through the year. Um, you have it. It has monthly focus pages. This is the this is the kind of calendar I always like, where I can look at it at a glance. Has that for every month. Then it has your weekly, you know, your weekly plans. Then there are these um, other like pages to make lists. I love a list page. Um, grid paper. Grid paper is my favorite to take notes on. Um, there's all these these other, I don't even know what you call this, some other idea planning pages. You get the 2022 calendar, the 2023 calendar. There's these uh, laminated dividers. Um, you also get these four sticker pages to accessorize your planner. Super, super cute. Um, these, it is designed these to help you if you decide to um, turn this into a, a business. If you want to have classes or whatever, this is a really fun way to kind of get organized. Um, but then it has these kind of generic ones as well. So you get that in your starter kit July and August. Um, it also comes with the stamp set, little things you can stamp in your uh, planner as well. And then you get these three awesome little journals too. Beautifully coordinated. This one I think is a dot grid, yeah. All right, so there is the starter kit bonus you get during July and August. It is, it is big, you can see. I mean, it's big and it is um, really, really nice. I uh, We were able to order it as demonstrators last month, kind of as a preview so you guys could see it. And uh, I was very impressed with it. So if you have any questions about the starter kit, let me know. I'll update the video with a link to my join page where you uh, can join from my blog. Um, you'll be part of my team, you get your discount, you get free PDFs, um, and other things, you'll have early access, well, I guess we've already got the new catalog now, but when you're a demonstrator, you get early access to the catalog, so um, that's always nice, you can pre-order before it even turns on for customers, I think that's always my favorite perk. Okay, so if you haven't done so already, you can go over to pinkbuckaroo.com, there's a PDF under the last photo that looks like this. And it's gonna have the links to the things that I'm um, talking about. This one, I sent out an email mm, a few days ago about my paper and ribbon share. Um, paper shares, a paper share is where you get a piece of every new paper in the, the holiday catalog, okay? So um, if you look at the back of the catalog, you'll see all the gorgeous papers. You'll get either a six by six or a six by 12 piece of every single one of these, okay? Um, including the glimmer, the shimmer, the red and white glimmer, the snowy white, and the snowflake vellum. You also get those. So I package my shares like this, all in one little, you know, package. Um, if you get six by 12, this is what it looks like. Six by six looks like this. Um, ribbon, we've started something new. Um, it'll come in a little cutesy like this. Uh, let me see, I had, um, this was the annual catalog ribbon share. It was a little bit bigger one. Um, that ribbon is wrong, by the way. I didn't have the ribbon. <laughs> I'm out of the, the uh, soft sea foam ribbon that we used last week. So that'll, that's what will go there. But anyway, that's how it comes. When you buy the ribbon and the paper, you're also going to get some celebration paper and some, um, 
post paper. Gosh, I can't, drew a total blank. Some of the stamp and rewards paper, which I'm going to show you. We're going to use on all three projects today. But here's a look. And I realized today that there is a pack of paper I don't even have. Um, one of the Christmas papers. But they're all super adorable. I love the papers this time. This is the gnome paper, which you know is either going to be a class or a club kit. So adorable. And then we've got this one. I can't remember the name of it. We've got Christmas paper. I love these uh, just geometric patterns, uh, simple papers. Those make great Christmas cards. Then this one's so cute with the little Santas. Where are they? There they are. They're all different, all different skin tones. I just think that is adorable. Um, here they are too on the trains. So there's that. Then there's the black and white. Love, love, love this paper. All black and white or black and gray patterns. Then there's the Harvest something, pumpkin something paper. I don't know the names, <laughs> but you know I love it because it has pumpkins. It's very fall. Um, and then, oh, and then this is my favorite paper, the Gingham Cottage paper. We used some of this last week. I showed you how adorable this is. I'm gonna wallpaper my new house in this one right here <laughs> um or that one i don't know that one's really cute too um i'm a little bit obsessed with gingham and buffalo check so this paper is awesome and this is a really big stack um if you decide to buy this one it's 30 dollars, but you get four sheets of each one and then here's some of the glimmer paper there's a lot of glimmer paper in this uh new catalog the vellum paper um the oh a foil print paper i can't remember the name then here's some of the celebration paper that goes with the tree rings the tree rings bundle we're going to use for club create i think in september if i remember correctly and then no matter which size you buy these pieces only come in six by six so these will be six by six um but this, this paper, I actually hadn't really looked at it, and it's really kind of cool. Um, it's got gold foil in it. I like this one. I don't know, I really like that print. And uh, it comes in six by six. Look at that, it looks like a mermaid. Okay, so that is that. Oh, it's open. Um, I am not going to try to rush the paper share. Um, I am going, my family, we're going on a big vacation. Um, the third week of July will be gone. And so I am not gonna get the paper share or the ribbon share out to you until the first week of August. So just so you know, if you want the paper, the ribbon share, you're gonna have to be patient. I figured probably not gonna be doing that much with all that Christmas stuff anyways, um, but it'll not ship until the uh, beginning of August, first week of August. Um, so that is that, the registration is open. Um, I sent it out through email. I can't list that link on social media um, or on my blog because it's a, it has a buy link. Um, so it only I can only send it through email. So if you want the email for paper or ribbon shares, um, email me or go back and look at my email that I sent out yesterday and today. I think I sent one today too, didn't I? Um, they always have those links in them. Um, and if you have signed it for my email list and you're not getting my emails, check your spam folder, okay? Because a lot of them go to spam. They think I'm spam. I'm not spam. <laughs> okay, um, here's another thing. Now, this class is not ready for sign up, okay? I just finished it literally like an hour ago. I sent my PDF to the proofreader. She's going to proofread it. This is the Happy Forest Friends class to go. This is not Club Create. This is a class to go. I haven't done a class to go since April. Um, so this is a class. It'll have a completely separate sign up. It features Happier Than Happy bundle. There are five cards, okay, and a cute, super duper cute mini album. Um, we made a mini album like this a couple of years ago with the whale. You guys remember the whale suite? Um, so that's very similar to this. Registration for this will open up next week. It will be open through the end of July. Again, 
because I'm going on vacation. We've got a lot of time. I won't start working on this until the first week of August. So if you sign up for this next week, just know it will not be coming until August. That's the way it goes in the summer. When you take 10 days off, you got to put things... Things, things take a little bit longer than normal, okay? So cute class to go. I've had multiple emails asking me about this. It's coming, I promise. Um, it's ready, kind of. <laughs> um, the PDF is typed. I just got to get everything listed online, um, finish up the PDF. So next week after the 4th of July, look for it on my blog. Okay, so that is all that I was going to tell you. Let's do prizes. Marlene Sides, you are the winner. She shared over on YouTube. Marlene, thank you so much. I do believe I have your mailing address. If for some reason it's changed or it's a different Marlene than who I normally send things to, then please email me or email me just to, to confirm your, your mailing address. Thank you so much for sharing, you guys. Sharing really does help us um, with our small businesses and we do greatly appreciate it. Um, this week I've got a brand new bundle from that brand new holiday catalog, the Hello Harvest bundle. So cute. Um, if you'd like to win, either share on Facebook or on YouTube, please leave a comment saying that you shared. Um, that's the way I'll know that you shared the video, um, either on Facebook or on YouTube. Okay. And I'll pick a winner next Friday. Whew. We made it. Okay. All right. Let's get started. Hey, you guys, nobody's here. It's peace and quiet here. My mom took one of the girls, another one went to the mall, and another one went to work. So suddenly, I find myself in peace and quiet. Thanks, mom. I saw that she was watching a little while ago. Um, not that my kids are, you know, difficult. It's just they're very noisy. <laughs> I got up at 6 a.m. this morning to record some videos, and they still interrupted me. I don't know how that happens. Anyhow, so is a life in the summer. All right, so this is Facebook Friday. If you've never joined me before, I'm glad you're here. Um, this free PDF is over on my blog. Under the last um, photo is a link for this. It has um, the measurements and the supplies that I'm using. Um, as well as some of the things that I talked about. Um, Club Create right here. What is next? Um, what is next Friday's date? The 8th? Okay. I am not opening Club Create subscriptions. I'm just going to leave it. However, if you are dying to get into Club Create this month, send me an email. Okay. I, I know there are a couple of you that really want to get in. Email me, okay? And then next month, Club Create, I'll announce next month's Club Create next Friday. It's the best butterflies. I think I've already announced it, but I'll show you guys next week, okay? So Facebook Friday, sorry, that was kind of a tangent. Facebook Friday, free PDF. Um, I We're going to make three projects using the hippest hippos from Celebration. If you like these projects and you'd like for me to send them to you for free as make and takes, Make sure that you put in an order online by Monday at midnight and you use this host code. Now, Monday's the 4th of July, so I don't know what you guys are going to be doing. You might be out with the fireworks, so don't wait till the last minute because then you'll forget. But if you want these projects, get in an order sometime this weekend. Um, it has to be minimum $35, although it's celebration, so I mean, why wouldn't you make it 50, right? So you can get something for free. You're going to need the stamps and the dies to make your projects. Um, and then I will send them to you next week. They'll look like this. You'll need the stamps and dies. I don't do any stamping for you. I send a little thank you tag and that's it. And those will go out probably towards the end of next week because I realized today I'm out of some of the cardstock and it's a holiday weekend. I won't get it until probably Wednesday. So be patient. You know, that's going to be the theme all summer, you guys. <laughs> Please be patient with me because everything is taking twice as long. Just, it just is. We're taking trips, we're doing things, you know. So just be patient with me, okay? Okay, now let me get organized. Let me see what we're gonna make first. I'm gonna kind of go out of order. Let's do this one. I only got one clean recording done today. Usually I like to pre-record all of these so that you have individual recordings of them on YouTube. I only got one, the box. I only got that one done. So I think these other two you really don't need a video for. You can um, probably look at the photos and um, recreate them. But just so that you know, there's just going to be one extra video today. 
This paper we're using on all three projects. This is the Celebrate Everything designer series paper. Is that what it's called, Celebrate Everything? Yeah, this is a Stampin' Rewards paper, which means you, it's, you can only buy it with Stampin' Rewards. So what are Stampin' Rewards? Stampin' Rewards are what you earn when you spend over $150. We used to call them host rewards. I think they are still called, well, no, maybe they're not. I don't know. If you host a workshop or a class and all your people who come put in an order, you get big orders, right? Well, you, if you shop and spend $150 yourself, you still earn those same rewards. Um, and at $150, you earn 10%, which would be $15. This pack of paper is $18 in Stampin' Rewards. If you have $15 in Stampin' Rewards, you can still get it, and then they just charge you the extra $3. Um, but that's the only way to get it is when you spend over $150. And it is adorable. I'll be using it. You, I guarantee you'll be seeing it a lot in the next six months. Um, look, there's like holiday-specific paper. So there's some Halloween paper, but then there's also um, just non-specific paper. This is We're going to use this one today. We're gonna use this one today. And look, then there's Christmas. There's some black and white. We're using this one today. And then there's another like kind of Christmassy one. So this paper is a huge 12 by 12 stack. You get four sheets of every pattern. So it's a really good deal. It's worth bumping your order up to $150. Okay, you guys are being very quiet today. You're being very, very quiet. Am I not seeing any comments? Are you guys there? Tell me if you love the hippos, if it's gonna be one of your celebration choices, okay? Let me know, that way I know you guys are still there. All right, this first card, we're gonna use a little dancing hippo. Look at her, she's so cute. Um, she, we're gonna use the glasses, and the glasses, are one of the accessories. Look, so you have the three dies, right, for the, the hippos, but then you have all these other accessory dies, and we're gonna almost use all of them today, okay? All right, well, let's start by stamping and coloring our hippo. There's also a sentiment on the inside. It, this, you're so hip, comes from hip is hippos, but inside, I'm just so happy for you, comes from have it over here. This one, Good Feelings. This is in the annual catalog. This is a great set. Um, so we're going to use I'm So Happy For You. And the stars come from the Alpha Best stamp set. Okay. So we're going to stamp and color with Stampin' Blends. You guys still aren't saying anything. Am I just missing? Let's see if I close this. And then open it again. Okay, close. What are you doing? Hold on, hold please. It just makes me feel like nobody's here. Oh, there's your comments. Okay, see, there were no comments, none. So I'm sorry if I ignored all of you. You're here, you do, I see <laughs> I see you, okay, good. Okay, we're gonna stamp this little dancing, adorab adorable um, hippo. And I keep calling it an elephant, so please excuse me. If I do that, we're going to color her in smoky slate. I looked around online to see how everybody was coloring their hippos, and there is some variety. Not all the hippos are gray. I always feel like I need to color it the right color. So we're going to do just light smoky slate. You can also use um, gray granite, which actually looking at that sample is maybe what I did. Gray granite is a little more brown, um, when you are coloring than smoky slate. All right, now here's my other question, you guys. I want some feedback on this. She has these little toenails, okay? These little toenails. Do, yeah, I definitely use gray granite. Do you leave the toenails, let's see if we take some of this color off and lighten it with our color lifter. Do you leave her toenails white or do you color them 
I don't know. Um, what color would you color them? You could color them pink, or do you color them just like a darker, like the darker smoky slate? That is my dilemma. I think I'm just leaving them white because I don't know. All right, now, um, polished pink is what we're gonna use for her little tutu. And I need to get my other polished pink. This is light. I don't know why I only grabbed one. Um, these are also make very cute baby cards. I saw a baby card today with this image and one of the charming sentiments. Let me grab my other marker. Oh no, it's not there. Where did it go? Huh. Hold on. Well, I don't have it. It's, oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. I found it. Um, so it was like, I don't know, it was a baby sentiment from the Charming Sentiments stamp set, and it was very cute. So I'm going to go under here with the dark, and let's color her little ballet shoes. And then, you know, I don't like that light. I think we're going to go over that, too, with the dark. It's just not quite the right color that I want. So I'm going to just change it. All right, there. Now, take your wink of Stella and add a little twinkle to her tutu. There we go. Okay, so let's see. What are you guys saying about the, the toenails? Again, no comments because I'm, am I gonna have to close out every single time to see comments? Darker, okay, here we go. Toenails, you gotta polish your toes. You guys really think I should? Huh, color them pink. I don't know. Okay, all right, I'm gonna do it. Let's see. Well, that is cute. That is pretty cute, okay. I'm gonna add just a little bit of petal pink to the inside of her ears like that. Okay, now we're gonna die cut her. We're also going to, um, we're gonna cut these glasses out of both polished pink and out of black, but we're going to add some adhesive sheet to the back of each piece. That way, it's gonna be easier to stick. So we'll use the outside of the polished pink part and the inside of the black part. Okay, so we've got that. Now, I wanna show you guys this little bobble here, this little thing, this little like cute decoration. That is from a die set that you may not have noticed in the annual catalog, and I can't remember the name, let me look. It's called the Enchanting Details Dies, okay? And it's all these kind of cute, funky little, like a little hanging moon. This looks like something in my daughter's room, the macrame, you know, cute stuff, okay? So we're gonna use that, and we're gonna cut that out of there, but we are gonna put an adhesive sheet on this as well. So our adhesive sheets come six by six, no, six by 12. All right, so you kind of have to cut them down to the sizes that you want. It's not a problem. Just gotta, just gotta do it. It's so worth it to have adhesive sheets. Usually I cut my adhesive sheet ahead of time so I can just stick it on there, but that's how unprepared I am this week. Oh my gosh, it's like I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know how to cut with scissors. <laughs> Okay, there, we've got that. And then the last thing we're gonna cut is that white piece. And these are, these dies, you've probably noticed this. This is, um, where do they go with the, the blossoming, oh, that big sweet in the catalog. These are called blossoming happiness dies and they've got these two edge dies right here. And when I cut it, I meant to do that one, but I accidentally used that one and I kinda like it. So we're gonna stick with that, okay? All right, let's bring everything over. Um, one thing I want to mention about this die, the first time I used this die, I messed up. 
and I was actually with Shelly Gardner and Sarah Gardner <laughs> when I did it. Um, this has a an edge where it's gonna cut. Um, so for some reason in my mind, I thought that was like a score line, but it's not, and I put it down. So it just cut the piece off and left the this little as a strip. So you wanna put, I hope I'm telling you guys right, we'll see, put the cutting edge, that long skinny cutting edge up like that towards the top, okay? I always second guess myself now because because I messed up the first time. All right, I'm gonna stick that down too so that we have, uh, let's see, can I fit anything else in here? All right, so let's cut the glasses. What am I on? Clothes pen. Okay, let's see, how did I do? Did I do it right? Yep, I told you right. Okay, so that long line right there goes at the top of your paper, okay? So there's our little, like a little notebook page. And then we've got our glasses and this one, oh good, it's just gonna sit in there. We're gonna just use the inside and we will do this one again in polished pink. We've got to get our little die for a dancing queen right here. Let's see, it's hard to tell which one is which when you're just looking at the dies. There we go, and then we'll do our long and skinny bobble right here, like that. That is crushed curry, and the reason it's crushed curry, uh-oh, uh-oh, let's double check this. The reason it's crushed curry is because the stars in the designer series paper are crushed curry. I see no comments, you guys. If you're talking to me, I'm so sorry. It's just telling me so-and-so is watching. So-and-so is watching. So-and-so is also watching. Okay, there's our glasses. So if y'all, if I mess up and y'all are telling me, I won't know. All right, so then when you, we take this out, oh, I, that edge looks awful right there. We're gonna have to trim that up, but that's what it looks like. Like Edward Scissorhands with my scissors today. Um, okay, let's put this back where it goes so we don't lose it. We can move this and let's, whoa, sorry, Mac. Oh, I just dropped my stamps out on my dog. Sorry, buddy. Oh, now he's leaving. Sorry. He's like rude. All right, so here's a piece of that Celebrate Everything paper. And it was very hard for me to choose if I wanted to use that side or that side. That side really goes better with what we're doing, but I really like that print. All right, so we've got a basic black card base. And let's get the little trimmer and trim this so it looks a little nicer because I don't know what in the world I was doing there. There we go. Okay. So now grab your little notebook paper piece and peel off your backing. Now you have a sticker because we put adhesive sheets on the back and you're not gonna make a giant mess with your glue, okay? And we're gonna put that right across the top like that, okay? And you can also, if I didn't lose my wink of Stella, it's right here somewhere staring at me. I just had it. Oh, here it is, okay. You can just take that and add a little bit of sparkle to these as well. And just, you know, because she's like super diva and you wanna just add some sparkle. Okay, then, oh, you know what I didn't do? Oh, maybe I did. See, I didn't pre-record these, so I'm a mess, you guys. I didn't do my dress rehearsal. All right, you're so hip, right there in the corner. And we're gonna take dimensionals. You guys, while I was at the beach, it rained like an inch here. And we haven't had rain in months in months and months and months. It's been like, like awful. And I'm so jealous that I missed the rain. <laughs> I mean, I know I was glad it didn't rain at the beach, 
But I love when it rains because we barely ever get it. It was really sad. But, you know, oh well, well. It'll rain again someday. Maybe. All right, this is the Simply Elegant Trim Gold. And we're gonna tie a bow over here. This stuff kind of has a mind of its own. You have to really like, hold on to it tight. Oh, how I wish I could see comments. Okay, I'm gonna close you guys out. I'm just gonna have to keep doing that and then reopening it. Oh. Yeah, this die is really cool. See, and I'm only seeing like the last five or six comments. Boo. Okay, so now let's get, oh, we've got to put her glasses on her. All right, so pop that out, the middle part, peel off the back and put this right there on her eyes. Then do the opposite with the black and it might be a little bit tricky to peel off the backing here. Let's see if we can do it. I hope you guys have plans for the 4th of July. We um, have been invited to a 4th of July party on the 3rd of July. So see, I'm gonna put that right in the middle. Is that the right, that doesn't look like it fits. Hold on, hold on. Put it on the wrong side. Yes, okay. That one is smaller because of the angle, I guess. Um, but on the 4th of July, we might try to go out to our lake. Our lake is only at like 10% full. <laughs> so it's a little bit hard to, you know, drive around the boat because there's like giant trees and stuff sticking out everywhere. But what are you gonna do? The lake one time got, I think it was about 10 years ago, got down to 3% full. So this isn't even the lowest that it's been. A little wink of Stella on her glasses too, you guys. What we have here in South Texas, our old weatherman who's now retired used to say we would have periods of drought and then rain bombs. And these rain bombs come and they fill all the lakes up and we have floods. That's just, I mean, for my whole life, that's how it's been here. So we were hoping that that tropical thing that's down in the Gulf right now would come, but it didn't. So we're just gonna hold out hope for a tropical something. So hopefully, hopefully fill up our lakes. Okay, so now a little more bling. I'm gonna take Daffodil Delight, stamp and blend, color in some of these rhinestones. And we'll add a little bit of that here and here. And let's do one up here and one right here. So you can color your rhinestones to make them any color that you want. All right, now let's stamp our sentiment on the inside. It's a black card base. So you gotta put a piece of white on the inside. My memento probably needs re-inking, let's see. Yeah, it did, but we're just gonna go with it. I should have used my uh, Stamparatus. Would have been a much better idea because then I could re-stamp it. All right, a few little crushed curry stars. Whoa. And put that on the inside. And there you go. I'm just so happy for you. I wasn't real sure how I would use the You're So Hip, but you know, it's kind of fun to celebrate maybe somebody's accomplishments. Just so happy for you. Isn't she the cutest, you guys? She's stinking cute. You know what's not cute? Not being able to see her comments. Um, Mom says it rained two inches. I shouldn't tell you that. Well, you know, Mom, our rain gauge said it was like an inch and a half. Uh, I know. I, I don't even want to hear it. Makes me sad. I mean, I'm glad it rained, but, you know. Um, Lois, glad you got the sound back on. Sometimes that happens. Oh, surgery, Heidi, I'm sorry. Okay, there we go, project number one. You guys like it? She's cute. All right, let's move on to project number two. Another card, and this one is a 
I don't know. This is kind of a simple card. Where did it go? The whole tray is right here. No. <laughs> you guys, is it underneath? How do you lose your whole project? It's here and I'm just looking at it. Okay, well, then maybe we'll skip that project. What in the world? Where did it go? <laughs> you guys, it's right here. It's right in my face. I have too much stuff out. I can't see what's happening. Okay, back to our normally scheduled program. We're going to use, this time, Amazing Phrases. Now, Amazing Phrases is a celebration product as well. It is um, a level two, which means it's free with a $100 purchase, okay? $100 purchase. So, let's stamp our girl. We're, I'm using, I'm glad you guys think I'm funny when I lose a whole project. It's literally sitting on the corner of my counter right here. But also... There's like 5,000 other things on my counter. Um, <laughs> God. Okay, Stamper and Memento. And I think I mentioned this before. I'm using um, thick basic white because I'm finding that the regular basic white bleeds out some, so I'm using thick. Now, I'm gonna switch to gray granite. Let me grab my gray granite. Because gray granite is just a little browner and a little bit lighter. So we're gonna do gray granite and we're gonna use this color lifter. Now I've got another video coming on Monday where I'm gonna show you a different way to color her with your Stampin' Blends. So make sure you guys check that out on Monday. It's a, a Twinkie box with a 4th of July Twinkie for all of our American people, but it'll hold any kind of Twinkie. Okay, see how I left that big white spot? I'm gonna take my color lifter and just kind of run it over, and it's gonna kind of blend all that together so it looks kind of like a shine. All right, now I'm gonna take my light, gray granite again, do this part of her face. Um, let's switch to dark. I'm going to add a little bit of a shadow line behind her nose. And then we're going to come down here and do the same thing. One thing I was looking at online was to see how people were coloring her belly. Because her belly is like a whole separate little section. And a lot of people are coloring her belly petal pink. But I think what I'm gonna do is leave it mostly white. Okay, so put a little bit of dark there and then you can take your light and kind of blend that down and up. Then I'm gonna take my light and I'm just gonna kind of outline that belly like that. Again, take your color lifter and just kind of blend all that together. Okay, so there she is. I've got to do her ears. Yeah, I like gray granite for her better than smoky slate. Smoky slate is my go-to, but here, gray granite for sure. All right, a little petal pink flower. And we're going to cut her out. We're also going to cut out a little heart. There's a little set of, a set of three hearts in this die set. I have dinner in the crock pot today. And I think I've told you guys this before, but I wanna eat all day long because I can smell it. It just makes me wanna eat. It's Swedish meatballs and it smells divine. <sighs> That's a problem with a crock pot. Maybe I should put the crock pot in the garage so I don't have to smell it. Do you guys have that problem too? All right, stay. My clear plate is bent, so, and I don't have my magnetic plate here. All right, so there we go, there we go. We've got her. And we've got our hearts. 
Okay, now, um, by the way, you guys, if you bought that magnetic platform that they have now, I don't know what you want to call it, canceled, recalled, whatever, you should start seeing your returns in your account. I noticed this week they are starting to show up. So if you purchased one, be on the lookout for that. They're going to credit you back the $28. All right, so here's this amazing phrases, really cute. The woohoo, amazing, hey, oops, um, lots of different choices. So we're going to do hey in um, polished pink. And then we're going to do the good looking in memento. And I probably should use my Stamparatus here too. This is also a stitched rectangle. Let's see what size it is. I don't think it's the biggest one. I think it's the second biggest one. Four and three fourths by three and three eighths. All right, let's put it together. Here is this awesome DSP. Again, that same paper I showed you guys from the beginning. Um, celebrate everything. One of your free stamp rewards you can choose when you spend over 150. All right, and then we're going to take our, hmm, I got a smudge on it. We're going to take our dimensionals. Please, Facebook, show me comments. Don't be so greedy with comments. Show them to me. Ay, ay, ay. Dinner, <laughs> June. Um, well, we have basketball practice tonight. So, basketball practice is at 6. So dinner will be right about 5.30, 5, nope, we'll have beer than that, 5.15. I was hoping to stay home and watch the brand new Stranger Things tonight, but I forgot about practice. Okay, now what did I do? Did I, yep, okay, so this is a piece, same paper, celebrate everything. Then we've got this new stuff that's really fun called, uh, let me tell you, hold on, iridescent trim. Okay, so there's different ways that you can attach this, but let me show you. I'm going to just do the easy way where I'm going to take glue dots. Well, maybe. Okay, there we go. There's one. The Swedish meatball recipe, you guys, is so easy frozen meatballs, and then you put like cream and mushroom soup, then a packet of the French onion soup, and chicken broth, and A1 sauce. And then you just let it cook, and you add sour cream to it when it's done. All right, so see how I just stuck on four glue dots, okay? And then we're gonna take some sweet sorbet twine, and we're going to wrap that around a couple of times. I don't have that much left, so let's just do twice. Well, maybe I have enough to do three times. And then we're going to tie a bow right here. Snip, snip. And that little, that little heart, we're going to put that little heart right in the middle of that bow like that okay right so cute okay and then we'll take our little cute hippo it's not an elephant and put her right i've got a hair stuck in here hold on <laughs> that's not attractive okay there and then we'll stick her right over here and there she is Hey, good looking. And that's a fun card for anybody, right? And you could change the colors if you wanted it to be for a guy. You could change it. It doesn't have to be pink. Okay, one more project. And this one is a little bit more involved. I saved the hardest for last. So let me clean up my mess and then we'll get started. This project, is based, well, designed around a project. I showed you guys a couple of weeks ago, my downline Laura sent me the cutest gift in the mail. 
And she's actually my second level downline. Her upline is my downline, Deborah. Um, but Laura, Laura is very thoughtful and she sends these cute things from time to time. So here is Laura's box right here. You guys remember? And then we opened it. There was biscotti cookies in here and I don't know what happened to them. I pulled them out to measure and then the cookies are gone. But she also put a little tea bag in here like this. Okay. So we, I changed the measurements just a little bit to fit and mine's untied to fit three of these Kinder Hippos. Have you guys seen these? I ordered them from Amazon. They came four of these boxes. Um, we're using three and there's five in each box. So that's 20. Um, we're gonna use three of them. Um, and I gave Addie, my daughter, one of the boxes. And today I went to find the others and I can't find them. So I'm not sure if Addie took it upon herself to take the others or if I gave them to her by mistake. I don't know. Maybe I told her I had, maybe I thought I only needed three. But anyway, I don't have enough for all three boxes. Now this is the video I did a clean recording of. So if you come back, cause this is a little more complicated. You'll have that separate video over on YouTube. All right, let's see what we've got. This has a lot of pieces and I've already done some of it ahead of time. You're gonna need two pieces of thick basic white, okay? And the measurements are on the second page of today's PDF. Let me get it, because I need to look at it too. The first one, the big one, is nine and a half by five, and you're gonna score it at four and a fourth and five and three eighths, okay? Then the smaller one is six by five, and you're gonna score the long side at one and five, and the short side at two and three. It's really not complicated, this project. It just kind of has a lot of pieces. All right, so burnish those lines with your bone folder. All right, grab your scissors, and you're gonna cut these lines in the middle. All right, now take your Tombow and put Tombow on the outside of those two middle squares and fold them up into the sides like that. Doesn't matter which side because it's the same on both sides. And then a little bit of Tombow on the inside of the remaining tabs and then there's your box that's going to hold your i need my clothespins that's going to hold your little hippos kinder hippos my girls love this this uh, kinder candy i know kinder this kinder candy is from europe it's kind of newish, I think, here, right? I think. I remember seeing it a long time ago when I went to Germany, and then now we see it more and more here. Or maybe I just wasn't aware, I don't know. All right, now for this piece, on the outside, we're gonna put that paper, that fun paper, um, celebrate everything. We're gonna mat it with Pacific Point. Pacific Point is a color I don't use very often, so I was excited to, to use it. And we're gonna put that here, but we're gonna wait and do that in a little while. I wanna wait until our hippos are inside because we have to put the ribbon on first. But we need to wait for that to dry. Okay, so we've got those. Now let's, let's take a look at the other things that we're gonna need. You're gonna use your dies, your hippo dies, to cut a Pacific Point wave and real red snorkel gear, which had adhesive sheets on the back already and the little life preserver, the little um, propeller for the craft boat. So this boat is from, cut from craft paper and the propeller is cut from silver foil. All right, and we're gonna put, it's just barely big enough. Okay, it's gonna prove me wrong. 
So what, what I'm gonna do, let's stick it like that and then we'll put our dimensionals on top of it. Like that. All right, so in a minute, there we go. There's the boat, okay? Um, you're also gonna need a two and a half inch vellum circle. Um, we need to stamp and color our little hippo. This one I had out separately because I used it for another project. So let's stamp. This is the third hippo in the stamp set. So we've got that. And then we also are gonna stamp the sentiment in real red over here on the side. Love you a ton. <laughs> Love you a ton. All right, we're gonna come back with gray granite. And you know, no, I think, hmm, let me see. I'll just do it the same way. We'll do light, is this light? Light gray granite. And then we'll come up here and do light gray granite, but we're gonna leave this part up here kind of light. Like a little spot. I know that looks weird, but when you take your color lifter and just kind of run all that together, it just looks like a shine mark. All right, so now down here, we're gonna get his. Now, what about these fingernails and toenails? I guess they're all toenails. Leave them white, color them dark. It's a conundrum, I don't know. So I'm just gonna leave them. Okay, and then I'm just gonna kind of go around like this. Most of his the bottom part of him is gonna be in the boat anyway. And see, when you add that color lifter, the color kind of bleeds together like that. Mm, a little bit of his ears. And then we'll use petal pink for his mouth and his inside of his ears. You can even add a little bit like over here like this. Oh, so cute. Whoever drew this image. I love it. Okay, let's cut him out. We've got, which one is he? Is he this one? So we're going to put him there. Like that. And then I have somewhere this die. Somewhere. I had it. Somewhere. Right here. The smallest banner from the stylus shape dies. Okay, and let's put our dies back. Here's our cutie with our banner. All right, now we're ready to layer all these things up. First, we're gonna start with him or her on our vellum circle, like that. And then we'll do the boat, and the boat already has dimensionals on it because we wanted to hold that propeller in place like that. All right, now for the snorkel gear, before I cut it, I put that those adhesive sheets on the back so that all we have to do is peel that off and put that right there. Because, you know, a hippo would definitely be snorkeling. A hippo wouldn't need the snorkel gear. Right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they live in the water. They do come up and breathe air, but they can stay down a really long time, if I remember, from our visits to the zoo. All right, there's that. We gotta get the life preserver. We don't want anybody to drown. And that can go right there. Okay, now before we do the rest of it, let's get the box and put it all together. So here's the little inside box. And we have a piece of the Celebrate Everything paper. It's gonna go right there. Okay, 
Now here's the outside part. We're gonna take liquid glue Whoa, getting kind of wild and crazy with the glue. And we're gonna put it towards the bottom, okay? And then put your, your little hippo, your kinder hippos in so that they're like, their little noses are sticking out like that, okay? And before you, this is the part I always forget, before you put that top piece on, take your ribbon. This ribbon is new. It's a uh, balmy blue and white double stitched ribbon. It feels like very expensive ribbon. It's thick um, and it's, I feel, it feels fancy. So just so you know, if you're interested in some fancy ribbon, this is definitely feels fancier than the others. All right, so tie that here like that get it nice and centered snip and snip now bring back that piece that we that piece of dsp that we matted on a piece of pacific point cardstock and sandwich that ribbon right oh my off center right okay come on come on work with me right there okay so now your ribbon's not going anywhere okay now we're almost there we're almost there we're gonna put dimensionals on the back like that we've got this blue wave that we're gonna just put across right there so let's put some dimensionals down at the bottom like that and um wink of stella again here we go this wink of stella is almost out but add some wink of stella to your waves just i mean it's more fun okay now for this little sign you're gonna need a toothpick and i'm gonna cut off the top it's too long I'm also going to cut off this point right here. So now it's a flag. Okay, grab yourself a glue dot. And stick that to your toothpick. Like that. Get a dimensional. Put it on the back there. And you can stick that down in the boat like that. Love you a ton. Got a little, he's waving a flag because when you're in a boat, you should have a flag for sure. <laughs> and last but not least, let's add some opal rounds, like little water drops. There's also a little die in here that has water drop. It's a water drop shape. I was just kind of being lazy because I didn't want to have to cut those out. <laughs> but they would work too. All right, and there you go. How cute is that? I love it. I have a link to those Kinder uh, Hippos on my blog if you need them. Look how differently I, I colored her. Very differently. Okay, you guys. Let's see. I'm going to close this out, see if I can see some comments. I'm so sorry if I missed your questions. Thank you, guys. Um, I can only see, like, the last 10 comments, unfortunately. But when I'm done, hopefully, I can see it. Now, here is what we did. We did the box, we did this card, and then we did the Diva card. On Monday, I have a Twinkie box for you, Hip Hip Hooray. Okay, so make sure you be on the lookout for that. I almost said, make sure you be looking for that. That would not be a correct sentence. <laughs> be on the lookout for that. Um, and if you would like these three as make and takes, uh, mail to you for free, I'll do that next week for everybody who puts in an online order between now and Monday at midnight, please make sure you use this host code. Unless your order is over $150, don't use the host code because you're going to get stamp rewards, which is how you can buy that paper. And I will still send you the projects for free. Okay. But if your order is under $150, please use that host code. And don't forget to pick out your celebration 
products. It won't let you forget. It's gonna prompt you to choose those. You'll need the Hippo uh, stamp set and the Hippo dies for these. Okay, you guys, thanks so much for joining me today. I'm so sorry I can't see all your comments. I hope you guys have a wonderful 4th of July weekend. Be safe, relax, and hopefully you'll get to stamp some too. All right, you guys, I will be back next Friday with Christmas in July. Thanks, everybody. Bye.